always I always uh, have a montage of these eight instruments um, across the top of got crude oil and the euro and gold and the S and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. across the bottom my secondaries are natural gas and the dollar index and silver and the treasury mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, we've been using incident today instead of Ninja Trader and um, the cell signal from right here. The stopping tail. Why? Why? Oh, you mean because it has a tail? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't look but at that it, as a tail. Try, I mean, we've got a we've got an ABCD now that that looks like we've got an end up here. So mm. let's see what it looks like uh, from um, from from down here. Let's see that. I guess we've also got one. Uh, this is this is so uh, such rational irrational exuberance here. I guess we got one right in here. No, there's nothing there. That's nothing. No, there's no pullback there at all. That's straight up. Okay, so now when you say that, it means that this is not really a pullback. Not even. Not uh, even how, there. Just, just, just look at it for a second and tell me how it could be a pullback. Right, I see what you mean. As okay. I, okay. Okay. So this just doesn't work. So it's right. And so the only thing you could do here to 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 take a trade is to to look at it on a fib. No, well, you got to look at it on a bigger time frame. You gotta see what what else brought that up there. See, so an hour or two hours or four. No, hours. I think you could go to an hourly. It would be plenty enough. You see, uh, see when you got that straight up move like that, you got to have something else in order to. Now that there 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 would have been one that you is that the one you sold up there at? Uh, yeah, that was forty four. Fifteen minute before I. Okay, where'd you sell that? Forty four. Where was your sale? Your sale, your sale should have been there at two forty-four. Yeah, that's where we should have shorted it. I tried to, but I didn't. It did stop me out. How, how much stop did you use? Ten ticks. Oh Jesus Christ! That's a hundred dollars. That that you can't trade natural gas for a hundred dollars. I understand that. I mean, you got to give it a little room. Look at this. Look at this chart really closely now. Okay. Now, where was the low? Right there. Okay, let's draw that A, B, C, D in, okay? Yeah, that'll work now. We still exceeded it. Well, yeah, we, we certainly exceeded, but at least you had a better idea up right. there. And, and by then, you have 244 as your, uh, your sale. Now, so where where with this? You got to risk. You got to risk five hundred dollars. So your stop would have been right around uh, two forty nine. Would be your would have been your stop. Right here. Yeah. That's what I would have done. But you already got out of it, so. You know, I think you're okay. So don't. But anyway, that's what I would have done. Looking at that. Now let's do a little. Let's do go. Agree, look. Do you agree? There's a stop here. A sell here, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a sell at two forty four and a half, or around two forty five, right? That's right. I would have taken it. Sure. Well, I'm. I'm going to get in it then. Well, why don't you? Uh, <laughs> where's it at now? Yeah, it's at two forty five seventy. Okay, I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's a well. Before you do that, let's look at a uh, look at a four hour just to be safe. To, there might be something there that's uh, screaming at you. So the idea is to look at it in multiple. Ah, now you got something there. Quick, go back and go to your high. Go to your high way on the left there, the far high, not that one, that one, and draw the fib retracement. Ta-da! 
There's your 786 right there. Okay. So you just you just sell it and put a stop above that at uh, 249, and I I do that one. That's what I do. Yep. That's what I would do. Oh, I was going to say you could sell it at 240, say at 242 on a stop, and at least you'd be selling it on a on a down move. But you're where's it trading right now? Two four seven, two four one seven. So it's uh, why is that different than the other chart? Well, the other, char the, the other chart was two forty four. I probably hadn't refreshed it lately. Ah, okay. I have to refresh it constantly. It's uh, mm -hmm. okay. Let me just refresh it. Okay, because it gets its data from. Ninja, and that's what I'm looking at. This is yes. I'm just going to sell it. Order filled. I'm going to put my stop to 49. Where would the best target be? Well, why don't you wait till it starts to work and then see what it's a target? Your, your first target would be $500 because that's what your risk is. More. No, your stop only has to be at uh, two, four, nine. So you're risking roughly four hundred dollars. Make it an odd number, like two forty nine ten or something like that. That's what. <clears throat> okay. Now the, this target's a little bit low, don't you think? It's going to get uh, well, there. but you want to get your first profit objective in. Wait till it gets there. Put your limit minder order, then put your stop at break even. All right, let's go. Let's um, let this work and talk about some other things. So okay. the bottom line is we're, we're we're trying to pick up on and how to use the ensign, and I've got the the thunderbolt uh, pretty well done. I. Uh, I would like to. I'd like to learn when it's a good idea to um, use the Gartley tool instead of the a the Thunderbolt tool. Don't make any difference. It's when you work at whatever you're convenient with it. I I don't think there's any problem with either one. So let's just do that here on. No. Do it on crude oil or something. Something. Okay, there's there's a there's a there you're okay here. So should we you could take either one of those highs, it doesn't mean you're supposed to take the highest high, so you just draw it down and then go down to your low and then up to your high. This and high or this high. Yeah, there you go. There's your number right there. And we got seven eight six, so perfect. It's, yeah, it's a it's elegant. That's what's elegant about this software yeah. Yeah. is that you got this. Now, I've I've been using a drawing tool on Ninja Trader since about two thousand seventeen. Well, fifteen, mm -hmm. sixteen. Yeah. And so I I know how to use that tool, but I never did <clears throat> have a, a, this kind of an information <clears throat> device on it. It was lacking. That's why this ensign is superior. You know, the only thing I got to figure out is how to rely on the data. Like you ask about the price, and it, we had to we had to do a manual refresh. So I got to talk to Paul about how to get that to be trustworthy. Uh huh. Well, that, you, this is good. You did a good job today. Okay, so. Hold on just a minute. I, I gotta, I'm turning. I got all my stuff is beeping like crazy. Uh, Do you have anything to add, uh, Al or Jacob? Uh, yes. Uh, the question is more on the uh, the timing. Uh, I think that I'm get I'm getting like uh, the handle on the uh, 
descended from the higher time frame from the, the weekly daily to the 240 to the 60 but as we trade on the 15 uh usually and in this uh Richard trading mm-hmm. how do we when do we need to go back to the higher time frame to, to validate uh, as, well, as you as should you right now you, with, the, with the natural gas like uh, well, the you natural, gas? natural gas First of all, if you did a 15 minute, you should, you should, that's a small time frame. So you should go at least to an hourly or a four hour just to see if there's a validation of that pattern there. See? Okay. You follow me? Uh, so yeah, we should so, go so, back. So in, in, my, in, in my world, in what we just stated is that uh, always look at the adjacent uh, time frame to validate the current time frame. The, 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 it's not just, uh, when I when I'm in doubt, but every time I, uh, it's better to uh, switch back to the high time frame to to, to see what's the clear pattern instead of uh, uh-huh. now I, I'm locked in, into my current time frame, which is I hear from you is wrong. What do you mean your time frame is wrong? Tell me what that. No, means. no, I, I say it's wrong to to I, I'm locked. I have like a mental lock. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking at my current time frame, fifteen. Yeah, and only yeah. uh, end of the day, I'm going back to 60 minutes. So basically, oh, what I have for you, I have to do it more frequently, switch back and forth, big back, back and forth, and then get a, a, a better perception about the uh, uh, uh-huh. the trading. Uh, that's that's what I, I think that I, I just heard from you. That's I need to be more ad- okay. agile in my approach. You should each read uh, two pages a day of Mark's book, Trading in the Zone, because that'll start to get you into the mental frame of uh, doing this stuff. And that's where the real key lies. 